I purposefully unfixed Metro 2033 in order to show you the most common fix for the physxloader.dll error. So you go to load up Metro 2033 and you get this error. It says the program can't start because physxloader.dll is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. So you reinstall Metro 2033 and lo and behold, the problem is still there. So, the first step to fixing this problem, and I'm working in Windows 7 by the way, but this should work for any version of Windows, is to update your graphics card drivers. Now if you don't know what graphics card you have, the first step is to right click the desktop. If you have an NVIDIA card, you will get NVIDIA control panel. It will be down in the menu here. If you have an AMD card, it'll either say AMD Catalyst Control Center if you have an old version of the driver, or if you have a more updated version, it will be Radeon settings or something to do with AMD. If you click on this, it will bring up your control panel. You'll wanna look for some sort of system information and click on that. And that will tell you your graphics card and the driver's version that you have. All right, the graphics card is the most important part. We need to know the model series and the model number. So load up Google and go to the website. I'll have these in the description below. For NVIDIA, you will go here, you can manually find the drivers, which is what I recommend, or you can use their tool, which will search for your graphics card drivers and automatically download the ones for the graphics card it finds on your computer, which is right here. If you have an AMD card, you'll go to this website and you can either automatically detect them or manually install them via right here. Now, once you have downloaded and installed these drivers, you will want to go to the NVIDIA website again, no matter which card you have, whether it's made by AMD or NVIDIA, you need to go and download the physics system software, which is located right here. This is also linked in the description below. Once you have downloaded them, you want to install these programs. If you can't find the programs, go down to your file explorer. It's gonna be located on your taskbar. Click on it and then go to your downloads. It will probably be up here at the top. If not, sort by date modified and it will pull up the most recent installations. Once you have installed both the newest drivers for either AMD or Nvidia, depending on your graphics card, and the Nvidia physics system software, restart your computer, which we will do right now. Now that our computer is restarted, we can try and load the program. For some people, this will fix the issue. If this does not fix the issue, we have a few more steps that you can try. Open up the file explorer located on the taskbar. Now my installation is through Steam. Whether it's through Steam or it's through a disk, you will want to find your installation folder. This is going to be where your physics drivers are located. Now you want to click on the left here where it says computer. Click on that, it's going to pull up your hard drives. Most people will only have one hard drive, a C drive. If that's the case, then you'll want to use that drive. In my case, I don't have Steam installed onto this hard drive. My hard drive that I use for Steam is going to be on a separate hard drive. If you've done that, go to the other folder. You'll know by clicking on it and going to the program files, x86 folder, and then scrolling down to find Steam. If you don't see Steam in hard, the hard drive that you first click on, go back to computer, click on storage, or whatever drive you have it on. It might be the B drive, the A drive, the D drive, click on it, and then go back to where it says program files x86. In my case, this is where Steam is located and where I've installed it. Then scroll down to Steam Apps. This is where your games are going to be located. Go to Common and then scroll down to where it says Metro 2033. In here will be your install folder. When you click on that, it will have PhysX system software. Now you can right click on this and run it as administrator and then install it through here. This is what I had to do in order to get it to work because even updating PhysX drivers did not fix my issue. Only doing it this way ended up fixing my problem. So once you do this, restart your computer and then try to open the game again. It should fix your issue. Now we're gonna load the game up. 
and it works. Awesome. If this has fixed your problem or helped you in any way, please leave a comment below. Let me know how it went. If you found a different fix for the issue, let us know in the comments below. This will help everyone else out that is having this issue. I want to make sure that everybody can get this game loaded up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to and have a great day.